What's going on guys? All right, we're gonna settle this once and for all. The, uh, <laughs> the Razor Rock Game Changer with the Jaws base plate, the 0.68, uh, I guess blade gap. Uh, we have a, ver a fresh Vashgad in here. And so that's what we're going with. I wanted to, uh, we're, we're gonna, um, this isn't about the soap, this isn't about anything other than this razor right here because I had such a bad experience last time. This is my second time using it. The first time I hacked my face up. Yeah, the following day when I was shooting the video in the vehicle, like it didn't look that bad, but the, what you call it, filter was on just to kind of smooth it. So trust me, it was bad. <laughs> so look, all right, let's do this. So this is supposedly the most aggressive razor right now. This is the Mula R41. I'll do a shave on this and kind of go over the specs, but this is supposedly one of the, the most aggressive razors right here, the Mula R41, all right? It's the open comb base plate. This looks like a puppy compared to this thing, right? All right, so look look at the blade. Look at the blade exposure in both of these. Let me get my fat head out of the way. Look on look this look at the game changer blade. Look at the exposure. And look at the R41's exposure. This this has more exposure. The gap, the blade gap is actually looks double the size on this, meaning like like the you know the gap where the blade sticks through is, is opened double of what this looks like. Alright, so that's this is one example. This is supposedly the most aggressive, and I'll do a shave with this, don't worry. And look at, look at this. And I threw blades in all of these just so you can see the difference. Look at this thing. This is the uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Um, uh, <laughs> shoot. Select Twist. Mm. Ascension Select Twist. Sorry. Yeah. Too many things rolling in the head. But look. Look at the difference there. Now, it's kind of hard to tell. This looks really aggressive and, and like I said in the review, menacing because it's such long flutes on the open comb. But just look at the end. Look at the end where the where the, um, where the the flutes stop and look at the blade exposure. It is not even, it's not even half of what this is as far as the blade exposure. It might be, it might be a third, you know? Like, man, I don't know. I think this is super aggressive. I, I know that on their website that they say the Jaws base plate is not supposed to be super aggressive. Oh, cool. It says on the bottom, Razor Rock Jaws 6.8, made in Canada. And I guess that's a serial number. I don't know if this camera's going to pick that up or not. I'm sorry, guys. It's not going to pick it up. I need to get a better camera, honestly. Other than my phone, rather. All right. So, yeah, that's what we're going with. Brand new Vasca blade. I, I said this in, when I showed you guys all the razors. Man, this handle is excellent. I really do like this handle. I like the design of it. Like, the look of it's pretty cool. But also the, the the knurling on this is just I like it. It's it's awesome. And they have the it's a little short for me. I like longer handles. It is what it is. But um, the the little knurling that they have around this bottom piece, I like, I like to put my pinky there. <laughs> just just fun. All right. So like I said, this isn't really about the soap. So I won't necessarily get into the soap. Although I'll tell you what I'm shaving with. And it's the same soap that uh, I used in the last. Well, no, it won't be the last video. It'll be the video, the video that pops up after. Anyway, so um, yeah, Miravitten, Miravitter, whatever, by the Los Angeles Soap Co. We're putting on our uh, pre-shave here, our Colonel Conk pre-shave. I did get a haircut today, so that's nice. Hope everyone's doing well. I keep, I have been keeping this. I was like, where am I going to put this? Because I don't want to put it back in its packaging. So I don't know if you guys remember this. This is the Colonel Conk. I think it's Amber. Is this the Amber one? I think so. And um, so I'm just basically keeping it right on top of that. I'll use them as a primary shave soap at some point in the future. All right. So I've used much less water. Uh, in the lather this time and I think for me it looks a lot better as opposed to the last time I used this soap so 
Alrighty. This game changer. Let's, uh... <clears throat> or the Jaws base plate's really what I'm... Really what this video is about, because... The game changer, I think that just refers to the handle, maybe? And then it accepts multiple base plates. So, we'll definitely, uh... Get a good idea of it, this this shave. We'll be able to figure out if it's if it was me last shave, if it was the razor last shave. Both of those are possibilities. But if I get another bad shave with it, I'm just gonna say that it's that base plate, man. You know, I don't, I, I don't know what else to say. I could try it a third time, but then I feel like I'm getting into that repetitious um, kind of. Stuff that I did with the Tiger, with the Tiger Platinum Blades, where I, I just kept thinking it was me and it really wasn't, but I kept checking and checking. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. What are we at? We're at six minutes. Holy cow. Way ahead of schedule. Okay. She didn't cut my, uh, <laughs> just kidding. I was joking with her. Uh. I was joking with her today at the shop, and I was like, hey, you know, you cut my, the past few times I've been here, you've cut my, um, and I'm riding the top cap here, just to be safe, I said, you cut my sideburns kind of high, I said, you know, a couple guys noticed and said something about it, and she said, oh, yeah, you just gotta let me know, which I know that, you know. I was just messing with it. Man, there. Yeah, this is this is super aggressive. I don't care what anybody says. When you have that much blade exposure popping out and basically no base plate, like, that's a huge gap, man. There is no room for error with, with this thing. I'm going slow. I'm trying to be very aware of the angle at all times and it's still it's just it's just very aggressive it really is You know what I'm going to do in the following video? I have a weeper there. Cut myself on my neck two places. I'm disappointed in this base plate. I really am. I honestly don't think it's me. I think it's the base plate. It's aggressive. I feel like it's more aggressive than the Rockwell on the sixth base plate. It might be it might be equal to it, but it's it's there. You know, it's there. Alright, let's slather up again. What I might do in the next video whenever um you guys uh, vote on these two soaps here. Whichever one you choose, I'll shave with this soap. And then I might just do an R41 and Jaws. Uh, this same razor kind of comparison look. I'll just do them side by side. I'll shave my face on my right side with the jaws. I'm right handed so I get, you know, it's easier for me to shave my right side. I'll give the benefit of the doubt to the jaws and I'll put the R41 on my left. And we'll see. I'll compare the two. 
I can already tell you just by looking at the R41's blade gap and, ex and blade exposure that the Jaws base plates from the Game Changer Razor Rock, it's it, the Game Changer is going to be much more aggressive. I know that. I'm kind of worrying about going against the growth with this thing because I know it's not going to be good. Woo. I can feel the freaking blade. <laughs> Seriously, I can feel the blade like pulling against my skin. It's Yeah, this is this is aggressive, man. I don't care what Razor Rock has on their website as far as the aggression on this. I'm telling you. This thing is no joke. I don't know if I just cut myself or if I just hit something. I don't know. That was a weird, that was a weird feeling. Um, so as far, <laughs> as far as like shaving goes, just on my neck right here, this is completely done. I have no hair. I have no more hair right here. Yeah. I mean, I have a little bit on the neck in the, in the typical corners, but other than that, this thing absolutely annihilated that growth because it's so aggressive. I don't know, LP, man. I don't know how you could say that this thing is not. <sighs> I haven't tried everything that's in your shaving den. And I still have, what, seven more to try that you sent me? Or eight more, whatever it is. But if you're going to tell me that you have something more aggressive than this, send it. Because I, I got to try it. I guarantee this thing is the most aggressive thing you have. I guarantee it. There's no way you have anything more aggressive than this. You kidding me? This thing is super aggressive. I don't know why I'm lathering all the way up there. I'll just need my neck. This will be a, a short video, apparently. Again, I love the handle. And I'm pretty sure that there is a whole bunch of base plates that this thing can, you know, be interchanged with the, the jaws I'm talking about. And, um, you know, I'm sure I would... Like, this isn't a knock on... Razor Rock's game changer handle at all. This is just, I, I just dislike the Jaws base plate. That's all. I think the Razor, I, I don't even know the price of the Razor. I haven't even looked it up. But, um, I mean, I, I would say, I don't know. I don't know. Probably between the, 
40, which is probably a little too low, all the way up to 75. Um, so that's, that's where I would throw the, the, the price range. This thing may be 120 bucks. I don't know. If it was 120, I would say that that's a bit overpriced. But if it's American made, I understand that. It's all, it's all relative. If it's made overseas and shipped here, 120 maybe. Uh, to me, 120 definitely is overpriced. I, I don't know the pricing, I'm just saying. Woo! You better have a light touch shaving with this monster. Oh, I wasn't riding the top cap there. I was kind of, I was kind of out as opposed to having the top cap close to the face. And it was scraping more than it was cutting. That may have been my issue on the first shave with this thing. I may have, I may have had it like a normal, like a normal DE. You know, you don't have a freaking DE like this when you're shaving. Typically, I don't anyways. I think the first shave, I might have been holding it like this. You know, relative to my face and going against my face. When re in reality, right now, I'm trying to do it extremely, you know, right in the top cap. Extremely, uh, what is it, shallow angle? All right. So as far as, like, my face feels fine. I didn't, riding the top cap definitely helped. Linguafile mentioned that that's what he does and that he uses a Vosca blade. On my first use with this, I used a an Astra. An Astra green. Everything is extremely smooth. You can tell that that's very efficient, although very aggressive. My upper lip actually needs a little touch up. This may be where it bites me. Like, a, like Jaws. This is probably a bad idea. I had a little weeper there, but not as bad as I thought. That was about as slow and as careful as I could shave. And that may be where the issue lies with me. And this base plate. If I'm shaving with a straight razor, I don't mind paying extreme attention to what I'm doing. It's an open blade, you know. You can do some serious damage if you go you know, horizontal to your face as opposed to just going vertical. Um, with a DE, it, for me, I like it to just be super simple. I don't have to think about it. I pop the blade in, I throw on some lather, and I could just shave and chat with you guys. I don't like to have to think Is the top cap riding my face enough? You know, do I have the right angle? You know? If I shave my upper lip this way and this way, I'm probably gonna hack it up, you know? I don't I don't like I don't like that. So handle, love it, love the knurling. Um, I think I would assume that this base plate is interchangeable. Um, I don't think that this base plate is the one that comes with it. But like whenever you purchase this, maybe it comes with a different base plate. I would hope that they wouldn't ship out this as the, the standard base plate. Maybe they do. Um, but I would recommend 
if you don't like super aggressive and they ship the jaws with the game changer as the default base plate definitely get you another one that's less aggressive less plate gap it actually feels very nice the shave afterwards feels very good <clears throat> But when I'm shaving, I, I'm telling you, I, I when I was not riding the base cap, which or the, the the top cap, which was a couple of times, I felt I felt that razor, you know, that blade. That blade was scraping my skin, and I I do think at the end of the day that was my issue the very first time I used it. I think I used an Astra. It was the first time Astra, you know, use. But, but I think Astros are hit and miss, in all honesty. I can, I can say that. Um, I've used enough of the Astro Greens to know that they're hit and miss. So it may have just been a blade issue the very first time. I honestly think it was probably just the angle I was holding it at. Like I said before. Uh, let's go with a, uh, let's go with a balm because I don't want to feel alcohol right now. <laughs> All right, so we're going with some GOF Trumpers, West Indian Extract of Limes. Let it go. Mm. This is a very subtle, but very nice citrusy scent. I really do enjoy this. Oh yeah. Put the excess on the elbows. Okay. So, next shave. Whichever soap you guys vote on. I will do a new blade. This is the first use. And I think this is the first use of Oscott in here. I, I used this in the... Um, where did I use this in? I forgot what I used this in last time. Actually, it may have been this. No, I used an Astra in this. What did I use a Voscott in? Anyways, whatever it was. So... I'm gonna put I'm gonna get two brand new Voscods, put one in here, put one in here for the next shave, and you know, basically shave my face. One side with one, one side with the other. And we'll see how they compare. I honestly think that the R41 is gonna be a lot less aggressive than the Razor Rock, the Jaws base plate. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that right now, and I'm gonna I'm gonna probably be right. Because again, just looking at this thing looks Look, it looks like the freaking DE89. Look at the look at the shininess on the on the actual blade. Look at the exposure. So look at the shininess here, right along this edge. And look at the shininess there. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. It's like half this is half of what this is. Anyway. That's the shave. It didn't go as bad as I thought. I honestly was like. This is going to be a horrible shave. I probably won't even upload it, but it's not that bad. It wasn't that bad. It got extremely close. I'm probably going to feel it tomorrow morning when I wake up. I, I, as I'm recording this, this is... What's today? <laughs> this is Wednesday night. Um, probably early Thursday morning. Probably like 12 or 1 a.m. But um, it's it's been a late night. <clears throat> but, yeah. I... Uh, Lost my train of thought. <laughs> All right, guys, it's been a long one. Hit that thumbs up if you uh, if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys for the next shit.